The most popular question I get is how to stay in awareness and not get drawn into your thoughts or your active mind. And I think first of all to point out that we're not, awareness isn't something to get. Awareness is something that you are. So it's to rest as you are, the effortless being, the the truth of who you are, the resting back, the dropping into the body that I talk about, the opening of the focus. If you practice those things, dropping out of the mind, resting back in the body and opening the focus, hopefully there's some feeling that you're not in the head anymore that you're not located in the head. And then it's as if your whole body is speaking. You're listening with your entire body. You are listening. You are seeing. You are awareness. So that's the, that's the fertile soil of awareness. <laughs> um, resting as who, who you are as much as possible and having the knowing that you can't leave this. It just seems as though you can. So there seems to be a mechanism that takes you out of this to the mind and thoughts and pulled into a life that feels, that makes you feel separate that makes you feel like things are happening to you and you don't have control or... Um, so, resting as awareness as much as you can reminds you who you are so that you can remember. And as soon as you get pulled out, apparently, because you can't actually get pulled out of who you are, but it does feel like you've been pulled out. And I understand that. It feels like, oh, I'm awareness. Oh, I fell asleep to my thoughts. Oh, I'm awareness. Oh, isn't life wonderful? And then you, you find yourself caught up in, in mental activity. But there is something always there that's watching all of that, and that is who you are. So once you're in that Sometimes it's hard, that mental activity, it's hard to come out. But there is a point where you start to see it and you think, oh my goodness, my thoughts, I've been lost in my thoughts. Um, so it's to come out of that and then not be upset with yourself. It's to say, oh, okay, I know who I am. And then to come back to this dropping out of the head, connecting to the breath, to the back of the body, to opening the focus because it's that closing, the apparent closing of the focus and the habit of going towards, it feels like you go towards, you don't go towards, but it feels just like you, the attention goes out towards the world of duality. Um, so whilst you're in that, if, you, if you've got enough awareness, if you've, if you've practiced awareness, not that you, you've got to be very careful here because you are awareness. If you've rested, rested enough as who you are, you will, it, will, it will build. So obviously it can't build because you are fully it. But what I mean is the habit of going out feeling like you go out, it's really complicated words and I'm not going to edit this, I'm just going to put it all in because I know you're saying these things and I said these things and I'm still saying these things. So it's important to realise where we're tripping up. So um, it feels as if we go out from awareness, that's what it feels like because it's a habit to be, um, for the focus, for the attention, the focus to close, the attention to go out towards the world of a separate person and, and subject object. So that becomes 
that's an unstable place. That's an ever moving place. That's a push and pull place. And it doesn't feel very good. Resting as who you are is just open space. So all these things arise in it. So it's to practice that more. I know I'm saying practice and it is who you are. It's to remember who you are and rest as who you are is the terminology. But I'm keeping all this in because uh, I just want the truth. So if that helps with the wording, because I'm getting it wrong, that's our habit. That's my habit. Completely, completely honest with you. It's a habit because we've done it for how many years? We thought we were a separate person. We identified with the mind mechanism. So the mind offers you things, um, habits, habitual thoughts, and it thinks you like them because you you pay attention to them. So, um, but really the attention and the mind are not who you are. Who you are is just this, just resting, just being, just allowing everything else to to be. So I'm not sure if that's helpful, but <laughs> um, yeah, it's just to be honest, to look for the truth. That's all I ever did. Thanks for watching.